My name is Tracy. I live with my boyfriend. My mess drives him absolutely nuts. I am ADD, and I'm also a hoarder of sorts. This is one of my giant piles of clothing. Another one, more clothes and things. And there is a beautiful yellow chair under there. Completely packed, and the majority of them are mine. And this is really overwhelming for me because... I get really excited and I get going and then I get overwhelmed and I give up or I just get, too, it's just too much. This is something that I would really appreciate help with from a professional. I don't know if you can handle all of this, but uh, yeah, I'm sharing it with you. This is Tracy's apartment and today is our very first day working together. The most difficult thing about big projects like these is trying to decide where do you even start. It might seem obvious to start with the clothes because after all, the clothes seem to be the biggest problem, but my number one priority today is Tracy and building up her confidence. And I'm worried that if we started with the clothes, there would be no way we'd get through them all today and she would end the day feeling overwhelmed and discouraged, which is the last thing I want. So instead, I came up with a different idea because what we really need today on our first day working together is a victory. Because this is a big project, I think the best place to start for us is to do some quick wins today. Okay. So I feel like we're instantly making change. You will visually be able to see the before and after right away, and we're okay. going to use that as a way to not only strengthen your declutter muscles, but to help hopefully mentally motivate you to keep going. Okay. So this should be really good. We're going to start with the shoes. The shoes. I'm so excited for <laughs> oh the God. shoes. So we're just going to start by taking everything out. We'll just start pulling from the top okay. down and we'll just lay them on the floor. <laughs> Let's get a peek at how much. Okay. Okay, wow. So those are all your partners, your boyfriends. Yes, We're gonna leave right those. Okay, so we still have all of these to go. Spanish. For I'm really impressed that you could get these all in the shoe cabinet. <laughs> okay, oh, you're making good progress. Okay. Nice little hairball on this guy. <laughs> you see that? Another little hairball. There's no more floor space at this moment. Over here. These are the last two of yes. And that's all. I just said we're we're done. Yeah, but in the hall, in the veranda there's still one more box of shoes. We'll get to those another day. Yeah, I think that's another day. So okay. we just got everything out. It feels so nice when you walk in here now being able to open the doors. It feels great. We left these. These are her boyfriend's shoes. I think before we put them back, we'll go ahead and just move them up to the top. Um, we'll give him that this high shelf here. Okay, so I just put all of her boyfriend's shoes on this shelf. We had to double stack some. We She did say, I wonder if I should get, you know, an extra shelf up here for shoes. We'll see how many she has left before we buy anything, but this feels good. And all of these drawers that we couldn't open, uh, and whenever we first got here, they are all empty now. Are you ready to tackle the shoes? I guess so. The biggest shoe declutter we've ever maybe done on YouTube. And I have. <laughs> <laughs> and we have more. <laughs> but we don't have anywhere. It's already hard to walk. To be fair, I started buying shoes seriously when I was probably like 14 and my feet have not changed. So okay. So I have had like some of these shoes. These fry boots I've had for. Mm, oh, I love those. And these are again, very yeah. high quality. They've, I've yeah. had these for probably about 15 years. Those are fabulous. So we have these from her previous move and these are gonna be her sorting destinations right now. Cause it's logistically hard to move around. I think we're just gonna go ahead and put your keeps in the box. Okay. Just because we can't walk to the shoe cabinet right now. So uh -huh. we'll have one box for keep, one box for the flea market coming yes. up. So there's a lot of shoes to work from. Do you wanna start pulling the ones that you definitely wanna keep? Yeah, I'll do that. Cause okay. I can tell you for sure like, okay, what I wear. Okay, that's regularly. great. So I'm gonna pass you this box for definitely keep. Okay. You could just set it on the sofa if that's easiest. Yeah. Keep, keep hiking boots. Nike started stopped making these like thin bottom running shoes for the longest time, so I actually just got these on sale because they started making them again, and they're my favorite kind of running shoes. I don't. Doc Martens keep. I love these. I wear these all the time in the summer. I wear these a lot. I should just stick with my keep. These are like my in between. 
I, would, I drive my scooter in these Uggs. I will always Love those. keep those. I've been looking for this since we moved. I knew it was somewhere and I never gave it. What is it? Up. So this is ridiculous, but you see this lava lamp? Oh yeah. I have a second one and I'm going to bring it to work because I think the kids are going to lose their mind. Uh -huh. But I didn't have the lid for it, which is not that big of a deal, but it doesn't look that good. So I found the lid. I love these. These are summer shoes, but some of them might be throw awayable if they're worn out. Well, but for now, we'll just leave them. So just pull out all the ones you definitely 100%. Okay, want. yeah. Yeah, that'll help all us. Right. Trip in. Most comfortable shoes I've ever worn that are also tall, because I'm short, I like tall. These are falling apart. Well, okay, no, I'm keeping these. I bought these in Spain maybe 20 years ago. I, I do still wear them. I just brought okay. them back. But okay. I think I need to take do, give them some tender, loving care. These, another camper. Again, I'm a camper. These are very comfortable. These are not, okay, that I wear a lot, but I do wear them. You love, love them? them. Um, these I got in New York, but these are campers as well, Spanish company, but I got them two summers ago in New York, and I loved them, so. so I do buy some, but I don't, I try to be more mindful about what I'm buying. I don't wear them all the time, but I do wear them on occasion. Flip-flops, which is funny that you said that. They're actually coconut soles. And I don't before. even know where, I, I think I got these in, t I don't know, they were in America, and I usually hate flip-flops, and I was wearing them, and I was like, actually, I like these. These are like the only flip-flops I've ever enjoyed. I feel like we need some with grass or something uh -huh. for grounding, like, yeah. earthing after a plane ride. So realistically, you probably can't even wear all these shoes all the time. Uh -huh. Is that something that you're okay with? Is it more of a collection for you? Like, is it important for you to have them? I think so. I used to wear these a lot, but I don't wear them anymore, so I will okay. get rid of them. I'm gonna try and like calm the chaos. So she's cherry picking the different shoes that she loves. I'm gonna start trying to bring some order to this so that we can go through the shoes that that she wants to let go of and maybe do it in more of a orderly way so that we can be really thorough. But right now, I like what she's doing and she's motivated <laughs> by the ones that she loves. <laughs> How long do you plan to live in this apartment? Um, I would like to live here for a number of years. If I so, mean, for maybe, I don't know, but... Is investing in something for your shoe storage something that's worth it for you? Yes, I would say so. Yes, okay. Because this is a thing that I'm probably not as willing to compromise on in that's terms a, of letting yeah. go. That's because fine. some of these things I've collected all over the world and they have... So yeah, that's one thing. The shoes and then... You may end up letting them go way down the road, yeah, yeah, but there's yeah. no pressure to do but, it now. Yeah, so. I think that that's going to be, yeah. That's okay. I started with one of the hardest things for her, but it was uh. just because it was in the entry and it was hard <laughs> to get inside the door. <laughs> yes. Okay. When was the last time you decluttered your clothing, your shoes, and had a big declutter overhaul? I would say never. I grabbed three black boots and none of them have a match. match. Yeah. Okay, I've started to kind of group some of these. We're making progress. This is our definitely keep pile. Mm -hmm. It's overflowing. Did you pull out all of the well, definitely? Uh, <laughs> She's going back for another part. Um, Osaka. You got those in Osaka? Yeah, I got them okay. in Osaka. That was so one you're of my, like, your some, souvenir for travel is, is, is often to find shoes. shoes. Yeah, to be honest, yeah, like, I can tell you, like, certain ones I've bought in certain countries. You remember all of the countries. I do, actually. I can tell you where I bought every single pair of these shoes. We've made some progress. She's pulled out all the ones that she definitely loves. We still have a lot on the floor, which I think is a really good thing because it means she doesn't love all of those. <laughs> so... I think the best thing to do, we don't have any more boxes for our sorting pile and this can get really confusing very quickly. So I think the best thing to do right now is to pause from decluttering and put back her keep pile and it'll also help her see how many she is keeping whenever they go back on the shelf. Right now, they're just in boxes, it's hard to know. So I think this will be kind of just a good exercise to take stock one more time of what she has before we continue decluttering. Right now, I think that we have too many shoes to have it extremely organized by category. Uh -huh. I just don't think just it's realistic. Put so just put them back in there. Okay, hopefully not shoved as tightly as they were before. Okay. <laughs> this is how they were all fitting in there. They were that, it's a great visual. I've never seen moon boots before. Really? Oh, we had them when we were kids, but moon boots meant like jumping. Uh -huh. How are we doing on space? Uh -huh. <laughs> Getting tight? Well, these are fun. 
and fabulous. <laughs> oh yeah, those are John Fubag's another brand that I. Uh... How were these all in there? I don't. <laughs> it was like Tetris, I guess. If we stopped right there, this would be, this would be awesome. <laughs> We still have one more box to put up. These are all the definitely love. Right now, it's not gonna be perfect storage yeah, because we have too many stop. shoes okay. in a small space. We can't expect miracles right now. Okay. <laughs> it takes time. Okay. okay, so we emptied the box. How do you think it will feel to be able to see these in the morning and like be able to grab each I one? Think it'll be nice. Part of the reason so many were on the floor is from me pulling them out and then in a hurry. and, then and like, Yeah. <laughs> okay, so we've updated this with her I absolutely love these shoes. There's no way they're going. And I, I feel proud of this. This looks so good right now. We still have this to go there's through. A there's a lot I'm gonna keep, I'm not okay. gonna lie. But, That's okay, that's um, okay. Yes. At least we can. have to make small progress every pass of decluttering. That's mm -hmm. all we can do. You're strengthening your declutter muscles today. This okay. is just the first, very first <laughs> round and I, I made you start with the hardest well, thing. I actually, I actually didn't I'm tell you that, when I, but it wasn't. I wasn't thinking about it until yeah. we started doing it. And then I'm like, but no, I'm not going to be able to get rid of a lot of these. So. That's okay. That's okay. Well, All right. So we will start with these. Um, how about we pull out now the ones that you definitely want to take to the flea market? Okay. Or if they're absolutely like trash, then we'll just we'll toss them. trash those as yeah. well. I'll work my way over here to the camera. Okay, so... I just found a brand new pair of Converse. Uh -huh. When did you get these? I think? think two years ago. And you've never worn them? Never worn them. And then they got, I did remember them, but they got shoved back somewhere in my other house. And then I never, uh, yeah. And Do then, you think that realistically you're going to wear No, I'm not going to I'm letting go of this. I like it. <laughs> I like it. I didn't wear them for two years. Yeah. Even though, and then like, obviously if I really was like searching for them, I would have. But also yeah. along when you're talking about comfort and stuff. Mm-hmm. I, I love the look of Converse, but they're not that comfortable and they're not. They really are good for so your bad for your back. Posture and your back. Yep, and so they I'm are also not like, okay, you know what? I uh, I'm I'm okay. Goodbye, things in uh -huh. the box. Yes. Okay. Bands that hardly ever wore. I'm pretty sure someone like forced a bunch of bands on me. These are almost brand new, but never worn. Very cute things, but never gonna wear them. Oh, but there's my project. I forgot to tell you guys about her art project. She's a very creative person and- Everyone that knows me well knows how much I hold on to things and that I have so many things. And part of what I was thinking about, which was actually over a year ago, we had moved was that I wanted to do this kind of project called The Great Unhoard, where I take the stuff that I have that I love, but I don't wear. Like for example, I was thinking about putting these in the box for selling, but I really think I want these to be part of the project. And I want to like wear and like kind of create a persona with the clothes that I have. I love it. And take It's a way to say goodbye to them is what you're doing. Yes. And so that's it. kind of the plan. So that's another thing that is part of this whole thing. So I will probably have a box that I think for certain things like that, that I will do before. For I the great unhoard. The great unhoard. <laughs> we'll take those to the art studio. Uh, and then we will deal with those later once we get to the art studio, which might be a little while, yes, but, but eventually we'll way. get there. Yep. Okay, perfect. So we'll just start one more box for the great unhoard. Yes. Progress. And same with these. Like, I don't know yet about these, so these are going to go part of the unhoard, but I might end up keeping them. These are also Japanese. The only two that I've seen that still have their tags on them or in the box. So we're gonna put these in the definitely mm -hmm. flea market box, is that right? Yes, flea okay, market. Okay, perfect. And these are part of the great unhoard. Oh, let's, okay, I'll, okay. I'll show because them while I you do that. I love those okay. Minnetonka moccasins, but I don't know if they're really my style anymore, but. Did you live through the 2000s if you didn't have a pair of <laughs> Minnetonka moccasins? Yeah. <laughs> I had a short pair, a brown pair. I wore them so much when I first moved to uh -huh. Portland. Yeah. Flea market? Fle uh, yeah, flea market. Flea market, okay. Never wore them. Girl, you're gonna Got make some money at the flea market. <laughs> great unhoard, okay. Mm -hmm. Love it. Probably uh, great unhoard. The great unhoard mm -hmm. here. This is the flea market. Flea market. I'm gonna put these in the great unhoard because they're so cute. Okay, we talked about these, I think it was off camera, but she said these are absolutely impractical for me. Impractical, sorry, for yeah. her and for living in the city. But they're so But amazing. she loves them, so we're gonna put them in the Great Unhoard for now. They're campers, I'm gonna have a hard time, so I'm gonna put them in the Great Unhoard and then we'll see. This is flea marketed when I find the other one because... We do have a pile of mm -hmm. shoes that I found that are missing their counterpart. Mm -hmm. We think they're either in the pile of shoes on 
the patio that we, we're not going to have time to get to right now. Or there's another collection of shoes in the art studio. Again, we'll have to get to yeah. later. And uh, flea market. Zara, never worn. Very nice, but again, I'm, I've never worn. I'm letting go of things that I've never. Yeah, look at the dust. Mm -hmm. uh, I think these were, and I buy the red. I know, were they for, no, they weren't sale. They might have been. I don't know if they were, but I think I can just throw these away. Yeah. No, put them at yeah, the flea put market. Them the flea put market. them for free. Okay, that's great on hard their Mongolian slippers, but I'm going to wear them in something before I get rid of them. Okay. You can tell these have been most <laughs> have been loved, much. judging by the soul. Mm -hmm. These are for the great unhoard. Mm -hmm. Flea market. Yep. Flea market. I love how confidently you are pulling these. You <laughs> said that you weren't be able to like let a lot of these yeah, go, but you're doing really well. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to put together all of her Doc Martin sandals because she said she needs to see them all and think about them, which is really how I love to do declutters. If we have all of the space in the world to spread out, I want to categorize them and then I think it's easier to decisively go through them because you can compare what you have. But realistically, when you're working in real people's homes that are filled with stuff, they're small, or you just have a big collection of something, you can't always organize them in the beginning. That's something that we're gonna be able to do on the second and third pass of decluttering, but the first pass, you just have to do your best sometimes. And the main point is just to get started. So you can still be effective at decluttering even when things aren't organized into categories. Doc Martens, Doc Martens, Doc Martens. Doc Martens, Martin. Martin. the other. Oh, you found the A pair, pair. of one and a pair of this, I think. This, yeah, and this is great. These are, okay, here's, this, these are Doc Martens? Yeah, yeah, those are Doc Martens. They really are comfortable even though they're so heavy. They are, I mean, you have to break them in, but once you break them in. So we still have these pairs that don't have a friend, so we're gonna set those to the side. And one thing I'm gonna do is start making the pile smaller because it'll be easier, kind of seems more manageable whenever you can make it a little bit smaller. Oh, I found one more shoe without a, a friend. Um, great unhoard and flea market because they don't fit. Okay, I've tried to consolidate the pile a little bit and I tried to quickly categorize them. So maybe it'll help you go through. So great unhoard. Okay. This is the update. We have our great unhoard box is growing. We have flea market growing. I don't I just want to know. What was wrong with these? Well, I think these are actually my ones that are leather, and I think I might keep... Like, I have a... Like, I got these. These are going to be uh, flea market. You want me to do the PSA about Crocs? One thing I learned, I wore them on the plane in the summer, and then I put them... Wash them, I put them out to dry in the dry Sun. Kansas heat, and they shrink a lot. You can okay. kind of revive them. You have to put them in hot water, and then immediately stick your feet in them. I did revive these two twice. Mm -hmm. You can even see, like, my toes. Yeah, I can, on actually, them. looking at them, the size looks a little wonky. Yeah, whatever you so, do see them. And then I went camping and they got stuck outside in the sun and they did it again. I revived them one more time, but then I had to buy a new pair. Are trash them? Yeah, those are trash. Okay. And, but these are the my. I just wanted to make sure I got yeah, the ones matched up because I do wear these. These are like a pretty constant. Okay. okay. I love these, but I don't really wear them. They're both like Adidas Sin Smiths and they're so cute. And I might end up changing my mind in the spring on these. Put them in the great unhoard and then I'm going to sit on it. That's perfect. And see, because these would be a spring shoe for me, mm -hmm. like in terms I of- I love it. There's no pressure in the uh -huh. maybe box. So this is perfect. I love how big the great unhoard box is. <laughs> it's, it's very big. At first you were like, I don't know. So I doubted. Uh -huh. I like, my, how my am unhoarding. I going to make this work? But I, you're uh -huh. doing, doing great. Yeah. If they're still working. Check on them, like wear them around. Yeah. Maybe, so you want to keep them if they still work? Yeah. Are you going to be able to just test them out in the summertime I mean, to wear them outside? Or? Yeah, probably. Or at least when it's a little warmer. <laughs> okay, so yeah, it's not. It's middle uh -huh. of winter now. So I'll go ahead and we'll store these for okay. now. Great and hard because these are dying, but I love these so much. These are Italian company. I always got so many compliments, but obviously they're... They're in rough shape. They're They've rough been shape. loved. They've been well loved, but yes. I want to document them before I let That's them go. That's perfect. I love it. I love this idea of the great <laughs> unhoard. Yeah. It's incredible. Uh -huh. We'll leave it linked down below if you guys want to, okay. she's opened it by the time this comes out. I don't know. <laughs> do you just want to put them in the great unhoard That's for now? The great okay. Because no... they're snow boots and actually they do wear them sometimes when it's really bad, but pretty much lately I've been wearing my moon boots. So okay. I don't know that. I'm going to start another. Okay. It's the great unhoard, but also the maybe. The maybe, yeah. Yep. Okay. 
I don't think you can repair those, can you? I don't know. Hot water, maybe? Maybe. Maybe but they I would should, shrink. I'll put them in this box. I okay, will give yeah. it a go. And then I'll... Okay, she's doing so good. Okay, these I'm... I'm going to keep these for now. Because okay. I just got them. But I told you about the sock situation. Yeah. They're for the scooter, right? For, for riding snow. the scooter in the spring. Put them over there. Because they are actually a functional type of... I just don't know if it's worth keeping something just to ride on my scooter. But I guess when it's raining... I really need a good shoe that I can mm -hmm. just slip on. So. Well, you're sewing, if you are if you do get rid of the other uh -huh. hunter boots, it's not worth buying them again. Uh, these I can get, these are just old slippers. Trash. I, they're gone. They're gone. So just a quick update. This is the great unhoard box getting huge. I love it. We have a, I love this even more. We have a big flea market box. We have uh -huh. the start of another a great unhoard box. Uh -huh. And then we and have a few stragglers here. Yes. We might just have to put on the balcony for now yeah, until we find that. them. And then this is all that we are left with, mm -hmm. which is amazing. So we just have to go through these. Okay. So these are great and hard, but they are on their last Okay. Road. Take some photos of these and then I will let them go. Whenever you start your project, you're thinking Instagram, right? To, to yes, tell them. I think so. Okay. That was my idea. Okay, so she's gonna start it by the time this video comes out, or, mm -hmm. or at least I'll start the, coming the, soon. Yes, yeah. So if you so want to follow Tracy, thing. it's the great unhoard. <laughs> with these great unhoard because okay. I wore these out, but okay. I still I, want, I would like to document them, and probably gonna keep these. But I kind of want to take pictures with them too, so I'm gonna put them in this okay, pile. I like it, but I think I will end up keeping them. I can get these are just trash. I, or yeah. Or yeah. These will go to the studio because I always use slippers of the studio okay and my oh, other that's good. okay yeah i still do wear these but they've seen better days so we'll see okay oh our pile's getting smaller yep and now i don't know let's start with the okay my the toms. It's a so um we're going with the tom's collection first yes Ots actually Ots, which are based on the very first man who was ever found oh, wearing shoes brand. Yes. Ah, okay. They are so comfortable. They look like Toms. <laughs> yeah, they do look like Toms. They're just fatter. So these, oh, I think, oh, these are goners. I would and say that's accurate. I think, I think these got a lot of love. They did. Look at that. And they're missing their Look at that cracked yes. till. Yes. Okay. Okay. These, these are going to go in the trash. These are relatively in good shape. Though. These are a keep. And I think... They don't make these in Korea anymore, so I'm really, and I wear them all through the summer, okay. so I'm hesitant to get rid of them. If you wear them all through the summer and they're still in good shape and, you know, wearable. Yes. Then I think, so I think the three of these I'm going to stick with. Mm -hmm. But I don't know okay. where I should put them. We'll just leave them there for right the now. Thing. Okay. Realistically, what might help you is at whenever we make progress in this declutter is to set aside a box for just some let's just well, that's do the other thing let's just too, do because my, i brought boxes okay because my boots are really big but then and i don't obviously wear them throughout yep. if you want to keep this amount of stuff you're gonna have to do closet rotation because uh -huh. okay. realistically your house can only be this size yep. i brought these from my house you guys have seen them before um we're just gonna reuse them here right now and We'll put her summer sandals in here, which in just a second, let's pull out some more summer shoes. Okay. We'll make room for winter stuff. Okay. I love it. I might not then let go of any. Because the thing with the oh, docks. Wait. I'm sorry. Oh, what? Am I inspiring you to keep more? No, no, no. no with the docks, I already wanted to sit on and okay. see. And so okay. because That's some fine. of them, I have to really put them on and I don't really want to do it right now and see. So I might put them in there and that okay. might be a... We'll come back around to it. I might not be here, but uh -huh. we'll come back to it in the summertime yes. or spring, whenever uh -huh. you pull them out. And then okay. you're going to be a decluttering machine. You're going to be a serious <laughs> space so. maker like, by then. You yeah. will have earned your space maker title, yeah. and you'll be able to go through these okay. yourself. So because some fun. of them I have to just put on and walk around, and I'm like, okay, and I can't really I remember totally right understand. now. So let's go ahead and put, we'll put the summer only uh -huh. shoes in here. Wait. Oh, no, de great declutter. These, what are these called? Chacos. Chacos. These that's the chacos? only pair of sandals I own. Okay. <laughs> I traveled for a year in these shoes and that's all I wore. I'm going to get rid of them, but I'm going to put them in the great uh, unhoard because I want to take photos with them because they have a lot of meaning to me. So she has these favorite Doc Martens and they snapped here. Uh -huh. We're not sure well, if this is something that can be repaired. Perhaps you guys know. If you do know, please let us know. Mm -hmm. We're going to put these in the great unhoard now. But to see I if they're had repairable. Them for a summer and I love them so much and I cried. I feel like Doc Martin should snapped. last longer. You I should know. Ride them. I don't know what happened. Like it. So I would. I would write to the company. But if you guys have any tips, please let us know. Uh -huh. She would like to keep these. Yes, I would love to keep these. Okay. okay. Probably all of these. 
Sorry. <laughs> that's, that's okay. No. That is. Yeah. That's okay. Mm -hmm. I like it because it's making space. It's making this like declutter work for you right now. I don't want you to regret anything okay. just because I'm here. Let's go ahead and take this box to the shoe cabinet and pull okay. out everything that's summer only so that we can make room for the okay. other stuff. And your boyfriend's going to love this. <laughs> We're doing this for your boyfriend yeah. today. Yep, yep, yep. You guys, we've gone through all of the shoes right now. There's no more on the floor. And these are the summer shoes that we're just going to store away. And I asked her to pull out all of the definitely summer so that we can make room for the other stuff. And when she's an official space maker in the summer, she can go through these again. Because that will really help because, I mean, these boots take up a lot more room. Mm -hmm. Until it's... No, I'm going to keep those because they're more spring. And then... Okay. Yeah, spring is going to be here very soon. Oh, in these. Hopefully... Hopefully it will be. <laughs> this is my summer box, and I might end up getting rid of some of the docks, but I'm going to move to that in a later date. I love and it, and they're, they're all yes, in here. All we'll in just here. put it on the balcony for right now, or the here. veranda. Can you walk us through your piles uh -huh. today, okay. so right before we start cleaning up off camera? Clean it. So that's of, amazing. Really nice shoes, but a lot of them don't fit me, and I just don't wear them anymore. This is part of the great unhoard, which is some of them they're definitely like these guys are going but these guys might stay but i still want to take photographs with them because they're in my own story. you need time to think about it i do and off same camera here, yep great on hoard definitely some of them like the docks that i might be able to fix and some that i'll probably end up letting go of but for now they're there tracy this is amazing do you feel confident with all the things that are flea market i do actually. okay that... so there's no chance of regret with no. that no that's perfect that is actually okay for me can you just tell us how you feel, like realistically? I mean, I do feel very good. This was kind of hard for me today. Yeah, I have, you I've did so good. A lot of emotions, but overall, like I think it will be nice to, for that, the first thing you walk into and deal with, yeah, and especially for my relationship because it is the mm -hmm. first thing. So like sometimes the shoes fall over, and he's like, "Oh my god!" Like this. you told me off camera that that is a big point of stress it for is, you guys. Course. This is yeah. awesome. I'm so excited for you, and we're gonna mm -hmm. make more progress next week too. Yes. Okay. Okay. Thank you so yes, much for you. opening your home and your clutter <laughs> to course. us on the channel. Yes. Okay. about almost 10 months at this point and yeah. yes it does not look like that since we moved in Do look at all this room to put your shoes on <laughs> <laughs> look at that i can hold up and i'm not like leaping over anything oh my gosh Give that is up. a girl happy with her declutter <laughs> look at all this yeah oh my gosh it looks so good 